Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Sid, and welcome back to another art video. In today's video, in honor of the 2.0 update of Genshin Impact, um, with the new region called Inazuma, I have decided to make a character from the region. If you don't know what Genshin Impact is, it's basically an open world RPG um, with a lot of fantasy elements. I talked about it in my first video, I think, um, and it really inspires me with my character design, and it's just a really fun time, and I've stuck with this game since like almost the very beginning, and it's just very fun to see it continue to grow and improve the gameplay and it's just really fun. Genshin characters usually have a gimmick, I guess you could call it, that relates to their hobbies or their jobs and it kind of translates into their character design and their elemental powers that they have in the game. And Inazuma is a Japan-inspired region. All the regions in Genshin are inspired by different cultures. So I decided to explore different um, clothing, instruments, um, a lot of like mythical things and just things I see in uh, anime a lot <laughs> too. <laughs> so right now I was just starting off with exploring different options in my sketchbook. I started out with a kind of monk character. I drew like a little elegant kimono lady with a parasol and um, an instrument girl. I forget what the instrument is called. Um, and then a taiko drummer and then a lucky cat. But spoiler alert, I really like the taiko drummer and she has rabbit ears. So how can I not do that? I was first actually hooked on the idea of a lucky cat character, but then I remembered that Diona is a character and she is already a cat girl. <laughs> yes, in Genshin, furries are canon. But there has not been a rabbit furry yet, but uh, so I wanted to do that one. From the depths of my mind, I remembered a legend about a rabbit in the moon in Japanese mythology. In my middle school years, I designed a lot of Japanese um, like yokai uh, OCs, so I know a, a bit about um, mythology and a bunch of that. Basically how the tale went was the man on the moon came down to earth disguised as a beggar and a fox, a monkey, and a rabbit, um, he asked them for some food, and the rabbit was the only offered him grass, so he told the beggar to build a fire, and when it was built, he threw himself into the flames to offer himself to the man, and the man on the moon was amazed by the rabbit's generosity, and he transformed back into the moon and he pulled the rabbit from the fire and to honor the rabbit's kindness the man on the moon brought the rabbit back to live with him and so now if you look at a full moon you can see the outline of a rabbit and they say it's like he's pounding mochi on the moon <laughs> i don't know where the mochi comes in honestly but mochi's good little fun fact, I'm sure you know about Sailor Moon. Um, her name is Usagi Tsukino, and this tale is called Tsuki no Usagi, so her name is just basically like a rabbit from the moon, and if you know Sailor Moon, she's a princess from the moon, so her, her name is quite literal based on the, the myth. <laughs> I literally don't know what I was going with the moon part um oh <laughs> because this character is a rabbit i decided to add some moon elements and although i didn't draw it 
um, I pictured her constellation to be the like a mochi pounding I mean a rabbit pounding on mochi <laughs> um, so like the constellations in Genshin they're they have like their own stars in the sky and like each time you pull a character you unlock new talents and each star is a talent in the constellation if that makes sense but and they all have little images um as a constellation so i pictured her as the mochi rabbit and instead of pounding on mochi this rabbit is pounding on a taiko drum so that's somehow relating it <laughs> So I figured out this character's silhouette on the left, but I was still trying to figure out what kind of hair she wanted, and usually when I have character designs, I like it for the day that I work on it, and then the next day I'm like, that looks horrible, I hate it, and I change it, but I don't change it on the character sheet, so it just keeps looking different every time I make an illustration. <laughs> And I don't know where to pull from and I always end up pulling from like everything I've ever drawn of them instead of just changing the character sheet. I don't know. I'm bad at this, okay? So this whole time I just looked up a bunch of Taiko Drummer um, musicians and I kind of combined a lot of the things that I saw um, whether it was like traditional clothing from when they play the drums or kind of like modernized clothing so I kind of combined all of them into one and I just uh, doodled all the different options and I ended up kind of doing the one on the left so now I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually going to do and Genshin character designs are just so complex that I had to really think about this and I was also, while I was doing this, I was trying to think of what kind of weapon and element she would have because in Genshin they have things called visions that give them elemental powers and um, I think I ended up, I wanted to do a Hydro character, but I couldn't decide if I wanted her to be a polearm or a bow, but in the end, it didn't really matter <laughs> too much because I didn't really draw her with the bow at all. Um, but I decided, um, on the side that she does have a bow. It's just whatever I drew in the final illustration, that is her burst, her elemental kind of final move so I didn't really need to do that because a lot of the characters don't use their weapons in their burst this actually isn't the first Genshin OC that I've made I the first one I made was a Mondstadt one which is the German, Germany inspired, it was kind of European region, and I made her a couple months ago, and she was also one that I changed a lot, and maybe if I end up hating it, I can revisit it and I can make it into a video of redesigning her again, but at the moment, I don't hate her too much, <laughs> but I never made a Liu AOC, which is the China region. So I might do that um, if everyone wants to see that and if I decide to do it, if I'm really bored enough, if I can't think of anything else, I will design a Liu AOC. Oh geez, we're on to the character sheet. When I tell you I had trouble with this, I had trouble with this at first. I wanted her hair to be blonde, but then it looked like it had, it was too much yellow, and then I tried making her hair a different color, and I actually wanted, I actually changed her hair color to a more reddish tone, because I wanted more red tones in there, and I felt like there was too much blue, even though she is a hydro character, I didn't want 
the blue to be overwhelming and for it to be so obvious that she was a water girl, you know? So after a full 12 hours trying to figure out her color scheme and character sheet, no joke, I tracked the canvas time, it was 12 hours and it took an entire week on and off to to finally be satisfied with it. And who knows if I actually am, but for now, I know I don't want to touch it. I don't hate it, but maybe in the future, I will hate it more. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to the art of the splash art, which is basically when you, so this is a gotcha game. When you pull characters, you get a illustration coming up for when you get them and it demonstrates like what kind of character they are what their element is their name and how many stars it is and like what their skill is and what their whole gimmick is so it really is like the main thing that defines the character when you first see them um so i wanted to pull in her taiko drumming into this and but i didn't want to I wanted to make it so that it looks like when she hits the drum, it kind of like reverberates out and it's like a ripple in a pool, if that makes sense. During this, I was also mimicking, trying to mimic the style. The Genshin style isn't actually too different from mine, but the shading style definitely is. And I had to keep referencing um, other splash art characters in Genshin and just looking back and forth trying to match up the shading style and line art and all that and in the end I think it really does kind of look like she's in the game which is what I wanted I just wanted her to look like she would could actually be in it which is why I gave her such a complex character design the Genshin character designs are crazy there's like so many tiny details and it's wild. And here she is finishing up. I named her Higuchi Meiko and she's a four star hydro character from Inazuma. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more art videos and comment down below if you want to see me do any more um, character designing from Genshin or any other fandom that I might be a part of because I'm part of a lot of fandoms. So thank you for watching and be sure to come back next time. See you later. Bye!